Welcome to a very different video. Today's video is going to be kind of technical because I want to explain what AGC is and also provide evidence that AGC is actually a problem and Canon should actually do something about it. But in the meantime, here is a solution that I found that is actually working and I will provide evidence that will show that. AGC is known as automatic gain control and essentially it's an algorithm that exists on Canon cameras. I believe only the DSLR cameras. The only cameras I know for sure that this issue exists with is the Canon 70D and the Canon T2i. I don't want to say all Canon DSLRs because I personally have not tested it to confirm that this issue exists on all of them. I've heard rumors that it exists on some and doesn't on others, but I know for sure that it does exist on the T2i and the Canon 70D. And essentially what automatic gain control is, is the Canon camera is trying to figure out when it needs to increase the gain. And the gain is essentially your volume. If you have zero gain, you're going to have zero volume. So you will want to increase the gain to have more more volume so it could pick up more things kind of thing. So what is happening is the gain on the camera is actually increasing because in moments where it's really quiet, like for example, right then, then the automatic gain control algorithm would say, oh, there's nothing going on, so I need to increase the gain. Well, when you increase the gain so high, and I don't know exactly how many decibels it's actually increasing the gain to, but it is increasing it to a level where you start to hear a faint hissing sound. And the reason why you didn't hear that hiss sound when I stopped talking and just left silence is because I've made the appropriate adjustments to my camera to basically eliminate the functionality of the automatic gain control on the actual camera so I can get way better audio. The best solution out there is to actually record the audio to an external recorder like a Zoom H4n or the Zoom H5 or anything like that that doesn't record directly into the camera. But by doing that, it does add a whole bunch of post-production time and you have to synchronize it. And sometimes I just, I don't want to have to do that. I like to have the flexibility of just being able to plug in my microphone and record the audio. And what I found was really strange was that even if I set the settings to manual Manual, the issue would still exist and it was so frustrating because it it ruins a lot of things having that faint hissing sound that may not be noticeable on all speakers but is definitely noticeable on lower quality speakers and in different situations and it's just it's annoying to have the other solution is you could record what is known as room tone where you basically record the audio for let's say a minute where there's no other noise other than the noises that are basically in the room and then you could take that and then you could plug that into your editing software and then say remove anything that sounds like this and essentially you'd be able to remove the hiss that way. But that is a significantly more complicated method. Next up you will see clips of me explaining what settings I've done and I will not alter the audio in any way whatsoever when I am editing this video so you will have it exactly as it sounds as I got the file off of my camera. So you'll be able to see everything because I will test with the Rode microphone, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is the one that I'm using right now. I will also test with a couple of different variants to the settings because I know that there are some other microphones where you can't actually increase the decibel level on the microphone itself. So I think I may have also found a solution for that. So enjoy these next clips of me testing the audio. This is the story of an audio test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro plugged into the Canon 70D with basically all the default settings on the Canon camera and the microphone set at the default settings and the microphone is plugged directly into the camera into the line in on the camera itself. This is the story of another audio test, which is the line I'm gonna keep saying for every single thing. This is the Rode microphone plugged into the Canon 70D. This is with the annunciation enabled because what I noticed is that the audio levels were increasing when the setting was set to auto and annunciation was disabled. So this is the test with it on. Maybe I just need to do this to fix everything. I don't know. This is the story of a microphone test, which is again the same line. This is the audio recorded directly onto the camera using the onboard microphone. This is the story of an audio test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro plugged into the Canon 70D. Settings are still on auto, however, I have increased the decibels on the microphone itself to 20 decibels. Plus 20 decibels, not minus 20 decibels. This is the story of an audio test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro plugged into the Canon 70D. 
and it is the Rode mic is set to plus 20 decibels and the camera recording for the audio is set to manual and the input level is set all the way to the very bottom as low as it can go but I've increased it by three positions forward so it's super low. So this is apparently supposed to be the solution. So as you can see, I found that the annunciator option, potentially if you set that because you can't control the decibel level on your actual microphone, if you set the annunciation option, I think you will be able to significantly reduce the amount of hiss that's there. It's still there, but it's very faint, but it's not as bad as just not having it. Basically, this is the super technical video, probably, well, not probably, but it is one of my more technical videos that I'm releasing, but hey, it's so that I can always look back and remember and hopefully other people will be able to watch this and actually learn about the automatic gain control. And maybe Canon would finally see this video and realize that they need to correct their algorithm for their automatic gain control. Or maybe they'll just think it's fine, but whatever. I'm just making this to inform the masses, I guess. Thank you for watching my automatic gain control testing. And that pretty much sums up this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Also, before I say goodbye, I just recently hit 500 subscribers and thank you very, very much. I will have a 500 subscriber thank you video coming out at some point, I don't know exactly what, because I do still need to figure out what I'm going to record for that, but a video will be coming thanking everyone for allowing me to reach 500 subscribers and thank you so much to each and every one of you that is subscribed to my channel currently and thank you to the people in the future that may subscribe to my channel. You guys are all awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Don't forget to have an epically awesome day. Oh, another thing that I always keep forgetting to plug is the fact that I actually have a Patreon, which is patreon.com slash the DXT. If you want to donate money to me, go for it. If you don't, that is totally okay. Nothing will be changing with this channel. I'll keep releasing content the way I always do. The other thing that I always forget to promote, because it's still very new, is the fact that I actually host a podcast with my friend Jill. It is called Mouthy and Curious. I will leave a link to it in the description below. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. So yeah, don't forget to have an epically awesome day, and I will see you next week. And I messed up the order of that, so... I will see you next week. Don't forget to have an epically awesome day. Bye.